Hip arthroscopy is an excellent minimally invasive procedure that allows thorough visualization, diagnosing and addressing different pathologies inside and outside the hip joint. Please let me take you through this procedure. Hip arthroscopy um, is done on traction table. I start by identifying the landmarks. The first landmark is the anterior superior iliac spine. As you can see, the patient is positioned supine. The anterior superior iliac spine is the first landmark. Greater trochanter is the second landmark. And the pubic symphysis is the third landmark. A horizontal line is drawn from the pubic sy symphysis to the greater trochanter. And a vertical line is drawn from the anterior superior iliac spine directed down to the knee joint. Any trochas medial to the port line should be avoided. The incisions should be performed in the inferior lateral corner for the anterior portal and the second incision is just anterior to the greater trochanter. So these are our landmarks. This operation is performed under image intensifier control. So the first step is identifying the entry portals. X-ray please. Yes please. Once I go through the capsule I use a guide wire, let's have x-ray, knife please, using the troca go through the capsule and then we attach the fluid, we can see now we are inside the joint and there is significant changes, you can see the femoral neck, that's the edge of the femoral head neck junction and this image will clear gradually once we insert the second portal. Then we get to the second portal by same triangulation. Yes, please. And by using the same wire. X-ray, please. Once we insert the second portal, the view should improve significantly since there will be inflow and outflow of fluid. As you can see now, we are starting to have a bigger space on the femoral neck and the cavity and this space will increase gradually as we keep going. X-ray. We are at the front of the femoral neck, extremely tight space, but gradually the cavity will increase. I'm looking at the inferior portion of the femoral neck and this is the back. There is a lot of work to be done. So now I'm increasing the space in the capsule by releasing the anterior capsule. By doing that the space significantly enlarges and then the, the field is visualized much better. You can see now the view is panoramic and um, we can see most of the region around the femoral neck. This is synovitis. This is the area that we need to clear where the main bump is. It's at the head neck junction. You can see this elevation. That's a fair size femoral bump. So I use a small size burr to um, treat the femoral bump. X-ray please. Identify the location of the area that I'm going to clear. And you can see that there is a hump all over this area. That's the front of the neck. So it's extending from the anterior inferior to the anterior superior. We need to be very careful with burying the bump since this burr can be extremely aggressive. And then I swap the portals. Now I'm looking at the pathology from the top. Now we try to go to the lateral aspect. So this is the head neck junction and the bump is just down here. So I'm using the shaver now to clear the tissue around the bump. This is exactly where the bump is. This is the head neck junction, as you can see. This area is part of the head, and this area is the neck. And the bump is at the head neck junction. Now we're gonna clear the bump. 